All right. Hi, fourth graders. Hope everybody's well. Uh, this is Mr. Steinberg. What I wanted to do here was um, just kind of give a little breakdown, a little bit of foundation as to um, like when we add and subtract fractions, sometimes students will, will make the mistake and they'll They'll, they'll add the fractions, like they'll add the numerators, um, but then they'll add the denominators and they're not really sure, or sometimes they're not sure why. Like, do they add the denominators or do they leave them alone? So um, I'll do my best to kind of, uh, I guess, describe it and see if, um, see if it's helpful in, in clarifying uh, any confusion anyone might have. I just have two examples. I have a, a couple of addition and a couple of subtraction examples, and that'll be it. But um, so if we look at the first example here, you'll notice that the two fractions that I'm adding together, let me find a good color. Uh, I'm adding three out of eight or three ace, and I'm going to add that to four ace. Uh, so you'll notice in this one, I've shaded in three of them. So right here, them are shaded uh, red, and in this one, I have um, four of them shaded red. Um, and so you notice my denominator for both of them is 8 because there are both of them show 8 equal parts. So when I add my fractions, I'm not changing the number of equal parts. The only thing I'm changing are, are how many of them that I actually have um, or how many of them I'm going to shade in red. Uh, otherwise, the actual number of equal parts is just going to stay the same. I'm still going to have 8. So if you're adding eighths, you know you just you just add eighths. You don't you don't change it to sixteenths. Um, you're not adding any more equal parts. You're just you're keeping it with eight equal parts. Um, and you'll see where this really becomes valuable when you learn about improper fractions and mixed numbers. You want to keep the the denominators the same. So now that we've kind of established that, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and just count how many. Um, of those equal parts do I have now because I have three of them here and four of them here so I'm going to have uh, one two three and then four more one two three four and I think that's going to take us to let's see here one two three four five six and seven so there so we added three ace plus the four ace and we have now we have seven eighths right um, if you if you wanted to, you could look at it um, on a number line. Number lines are fantastic. Um, in a future video, I have a better number line to show you, but I can still create them here. So if you have eight equal parts, this could be one out of eight. This will be two ace. This will be three ace. This will be four ace, which is special because four out of eight, that's half, right? That's halfway. Uh, so four ace is equivalent to one half. There's five eighths, there's six eighths, and then there's seven eighths. So if you want to use a number line, what we do is we start at zero, and then you find the first fraction that you're adding, right? We're adding three eighths, so we're going to start, three eighths, we're going to start with that one. So you start there. So here we are at three over eight, or three eighths, and you're going to add, right? You're going to add four more. So when you add four more, you're going to count one, two, three. And four, and there you can see you ended up um, right back here at um, at seven eighths, which is the same thing as this right there. So sometimes, depending on on you know what you're comfortable with, using uh, fraction bars or using um, a number line can be helpful because you can just kind of count on the number line. So you start at zero, and you know you started at zero, and and you had to start at three out of eight, so you counted one two, three, so you started there, then you added four more, and you ended there. And you notice our, our denominator doesn't change, right? We didn't add anything to the denominator. We, we kept it the same number of equal parts. So for this one, I wanted to show, this is kind of a mistake that some uh, students make, some people make. Um, what they do is, if I go ahead and label this, right? If I have, let's see here, six out of 10, And then I'm going to add three more, one, two, three. I've added my, my numerators correctly because I've shaded nine over here. I have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I, I have nine of those parts, but look, look what happened when I um when I added, I added my denominators. I have 10 plus 10 equals 20. Well, <laughs> that's not true because I have 10 equal parts on the first one and 10 in the second one. So I'm adding tenths. I'm not adding any more total equal parts. I'm only adding how many do I have in my numerator. So this one does not equal 9 twentieths. That's false. It should say I should be 9 out of 10. 6 tenths plus 3 tenths should be 9 tenths. So this is not true. This is false. Because I'm not adding any more equal parts. Total. I mean total equal parts. I'm only adding the ones that I have. So my, my number of equal parts stays the same. So if I wanted to use a number line, like I wouldn't use this one. I wouldn't use out of 20. I would use out of 10. So this would be 1 tenth. This is 2 tenths. 3 tenths. 4 tenths. Okay, there's a special fraction right there, 5 tenths, because that's halfway. So 5 tenths is equal to half. 6 tenths, 7 tenths, um, 8 tenths, 9 tenths. And so 10 out of 10, right, that's the same thing as 1. In fact, I should have showed you that before. When you get here, uh, 8 out of 8, that's the same thing as 1 whole. So let's see how close we are to getting 1. So we're going to start, where did we start? It was um, 6 tenths. So you're going to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you see you start here. So we added 6 tenths, and then we're going to add 3 more. You count one, two, three. So there's six tenths. We counted six of them. We're going to add three more tenths, and we ended up here at nine tenths. So six tenths plus three out of ten is nine tenths, and we're almost at one whole. You'll notice that nine tenths is almost exactly one whole. It's almost there. Let's take a look at subtraction and see how that one works. Give me a second. Let me bring that one in, and then. Uh, That'll be it for this video. I can see the video is kind of getting on there. So what do we have? We have, uh, again, you look at our denominator, right? Our denominator is 12. So we're going to keep the total number of equal parts at 12 right there. And we're just going to subtract. We're going to start with, uh, let's take, I guess, red. So you have 9. You're going to subtract 5. Well, how much is 9 take away 5? Maybe I should label it. So I have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. I'm going to take away 5 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if you know your uh, subtraction facts, you know that 9 take away 5 is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that leaves us with uh, 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Out of how many? Well, we still have 12 total. In fact, you can see this would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 4 out of those 12 will be shaded. And if you if you wanted to, you know, look at it uh, another way, you could start with the 9 out of 12, and you can take away 5 of those that are shaded. And what you can do is you can just cross them out. So I'm going to subtract five of them. I'm going to cross it out. I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, and five. And what am I left with? You're just left with four out of 12. And it kind of works the same way on a number line. So you have one out of 12, two out of 12, like that. Some of these are special fractions, but the one that we want to highlight is this one. Six out of 12, because that's halfway. So that's the same thing as half. There's 9 out of 12, 10 out of 12, and then 12 out of 12, that's the same thing as one whole. So you start, right, you start with this one. This is where we start right there, uh, 9 out of 12. Let's use blue, kind of something different. Start with 9 out of 12, and you're going to take away 5 of them. So you just kind of subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you end up here. So we took away... Uh, 5 out of those 12. You just, all you're doing is, is counting down on a number line. And so for this one, um, just kind of a similar example. You kind of see that what we have here. 
got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have six out of eight that are shaded green. We're going to take away one, two, three out of the eight. So we have uh, six out of the eight, and we're going to take away three out of the eight. So our denominator stays in eight because we have eight equal parts. And if you know your subtraction, six take away three, that's going to be three. And if you wanted to cross it out, you can say, okay, if I'm starting with six and I take away three, one, two, three. I have three left. And same thing here. Uh, we know we have eight equal parts. All right, so eight out of eight, that's one whole. That equals one. Four out of eight, that's one half, because that's halfway, or four is half of eight. Um, you can start at uh, six out of eight, you start there. And you're gonna take away the three out of eight, so you just go one, two, three. And this is where you end up, right there. So three of three eighths. Okay, so that's, that's kind of basic addition and subtraction of fractions. Just remember, Please do not um, add or subtract the denominators. <laughs> Just simply leave them as equal parts. Because remember, if you're if you're dealing with like twelfths, then you deal with twelfths. Um, you don't change it to um, you know you don't subtract it and it becomes zero. Um, you don't add it and make it twenty four. It just stays as twelfths. And I wanted to show you. I forgot on this one. See, if I would have subtracted, what would have happened if I subtracted? my denominators. I would have taken 8 take away 8. That would have left me with nothing. I would have had 0 equal parts. So you can't subtract the denominators and you can't add the denom denominators. You can only add or subtract the numerators. Okay, that's all. So keep a lookout for another video that deals with um, um, mixed numbers and improper fractions.